Well, hello there, Sagittarius. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, we are going to be doing your uh, uh, mid-October <laughs> tarot reading. So this is a general reading. It's good from now until mid-November, and good for Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. So um, we'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, let's get into this. Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan. So, and what do we have? Time for a nap. Yeah, it's almost as if you may be... Um, it's almost this sense that you're trying to figure out what the plan is. Um, and it's asking you to, um, the Spirit's really asking you at this time to surrender, to know that there is a plan. And so we'll look at the tarot. You could feel stuck at this time. There's almost this energy of impatience <laughs> and you're the temperance energy, right? Um, but there's almost this energy of impatience, wanting to know where is this going? Um, when am I going to have clarity about this situation? situation um just really almost like you know at the at the end of your rope with a certain situation so let's go to the tarot and get some more details so we'll take a look at your present energy and then the obstacle that's in the way here um and try to get you some more clarity about how you can move you know around or through this obstacle yeah there's a sense of wanting some commitment here so let's see yeah it, it's almost like a sense of you know waiting to hear on a job offer or waiting to hear um you know the the results of perhaps um you know a health situation you know you may have had some tests or something you're kind of waiting on that um you could be waiting on hearing about a move um, you know, like you're looking for a house or something like that. And you're trying to figure out, you know, are we going to get the house? Are we not? You know, what do, what's the next step? There's also this sense of coming to the sense that it's, uh, it, you know, maybe this isn't on my path because, you know, we have the temperance. There you are, the temperance card and great achievement. There's something that you are really wanting to accomplish here, right? Um, this is you achieving what it is that you want, but it's almost as if you're so close to what it is that you want. Look at this. We have the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Hearts, something that is near and dear to your heart, but you're just afraid it's not coming in you know you have the two of pentacles is it coming is coming <laughs> it, it's almost that sense of you know when you were a child and you were you know getting all excited about christmas or your birthday and it was like you know is it ever going to get here you know all of that like anxiety it's almost like that anxious anxiety but it's mixed with excitement because this is something that you really and truly want so you're anxious, but you're anxious because you know how much you really want this. So let's take a look. Yeah, we have um, your present energy, optimism, you know, uh, the eight of pentacles, putting a lot of time, energy, love, passion into something. Could be with your career and finances. You know, once again, you could be waiting to hear on a, a, a job offer. Um, the pentacles also represents health. I don't know why they're bringing that up, but for some of you, maybe you're waiting on at the, you know, some results on some type of a health issue that you have. And if so, um, I'm sending you lots of love and hugs. Um, you could be waiting on a big, you know, to hear about a big purchase or something like that. So there's this sense that you're being really optimistic, right? Because once again, you know, um, you're, you're, there's something here that you're really wanting. Um, for some of you, they're saying something like, you know, you're, um, waiting anxiously for a new child, you know, 
Um, maybe, you know, you're going through some fertility issues or something and you're trying to overcome that, you know, that you're trying to, um, there's something here that you're really trying to manifest into your life, but you're filled with positivity. And yet at the same time, you're kind of like, oh, is it coming? Is it coming? Right. Um, so let's take a look at what we have here. So this is your obstacle. This is what you're overcoming over the next month. So we have commitment and we have the death card. Understanding that something has to kind of give, um, it, you know, end in order for this <laughs> new thing to come in. It's about, you know, you could be trying to end a commitment. So you could be trying to end a relationship, a job, you know, uh, where you're living. You could be trying to end one cycle of a commitment to open up a new cycle, but understanding something has to end in order for something new to come in. Now it's coming back to this, you know, the koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. It's almost this sense of you may be trying a little bit too hard, a, a little bit about you know, taking a nap. It's almost as if <laughs> you take a nap and then you wake up and it's there. You know, of that sense that, you know, you could just be um, almost like more in this sense of anxiety than you realize and that could be blocking it. So let's take a look at this. And yeah, we have three of swords on the bottom. So I feel like you're almost like... Okay, Sag, it's um, almost like you're trying to prepare yourself for the worst, okay? So when you're preparing yourself for the worst scenario, right? You don't get the job, the test results come back, and it's not what you were hoping for, right? It's almost as if when we put so much time and energy into our anxiety of the worst case scenario, you may actually manifest that, right? Because you're putting, the universe does not really know that what you're doing is not wanting that. So there's a sense here of getting really, staying in that optimistic. Don't allow your fears to drive your decisions or your thinking at this time. Stay in your heart space as much as you possibly can. And I know that that can be difficult at times when you're, you're waiting on something that's really important to you, right? But understanding that the universe has a plan. If this is, if you uh, don't get the outcome here that you are seeking, then that just means there's something better on the path and, you know, down the line. So, um, and, and taking a look that, you know, everything that comes into our life really is something that we are manifesting. And sometimes that's hard to sit with, right? That, you know, oh, I manifested this. This is not what I want in my life. Um, and yet at the same time, it it is. We, we create our own reality. So to stay in this optimistic viewpoint, if this is something you really want. It's about, you know, looking forward to the future, having this in your life, bringing it in in a positive light. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Yeah, it's been a long trek. You know, you're the king of swords on the bottom, page of pentacles. I think you have options. In, in other words, if this doesn't turn out the way that you're hoping, there's options available to you. So it's not as if, say, you're really wanting a certain house. You put an offer in and you're waiting and waiting, you know, will they accept my offer or you're waiting on a job or something like that. It's almost as if the universe is saying to you, it's okay if this, it doesn't come in the, this time, right? It's because there's something better on down the line. The divine knows the whole path. You can only see a, a short distance of the path. And so it's, it's really about trusting of surrendering, you know, taking time out from, you know, trying to work on this. I feel like you are working on it really hard, but at the same time, you're almost like burning yourself out. It's allowing your, allowing the universe to come in and, and, you know, take over for you because there is an offer coming in. This is really good news. Whatever this is, whatever you're hoping for, the page of pentacles is finding out good news. Okay. Somebody's coming in with good news after a very long time. So you have been working on this for a long time, or you've been waiting for this a very long time. Yeah. Page of swords. I feel as if 
you know, there's this sense with the king of wands <laughs> and that's kind of your energy, Sag, but it kind of like coming into the, the understanding of the truth of what this is and why it's important to you. Um, it may be part of the process um, before it can come in. It's almost as if you kind of like, um, you know, it's, it's almost as if you want a new bike, you know, for Christmas and you, you know, you, you picked out a bike that you really and truly wanted. Um, but maybe, you know, your parents said, you know, to themselves, they were like, that's not the right bike for Sagittarius. You know, they're going to outgrow that bike too soon. You know, they can see down the path that you're about to have a growth spurt and it's the middle of the winter, but by spring, when you're ready to really ride that bike on a daily basis, you're going to have grown another, you know, three or four inches. So that bike is just, it, you want it because you're a child and it's the color you want or a friend of yours has that bike but it's like your parents can see I'm down the line and they're like, no, Sagittarius is ready for this bigger bike. And that's the energy that's here. Like you're kind of set on what this needs to look like, the outcome needs to look like. But what you don't realize is that there's something better down the line. So if you don't get this exactly the way that you want to, it's because the divine knows what's coming. You're all being asked. All you're being asked is to stay in your power, to understand that the divine is working behind the scenes for you. The moon card is the divine, is, you know, stepping into your intuition, staying in that really positive, visionary type of energy, um, not allowing your fears to come in, to know that what you want is going to come onto your path because you can create your own reality. Um, and, you know, the moon is about the fears. It's, you know, really staying in your heart space, not allowing your fears to take over, to understand that you can only see, only part of the path is illuminated. So you can only see so much of it. The divine can see the entire path. So, you know, the divine really understands what it is that you, that is for your highest good. So, um, Sometimes that's hard to accept, right? <laughs> it is. It is hard to accept at times. And yet at the same time, it's it's also understanding that we do, we can control our reality by what we think about and the actions that we take. But sometimes the divine knows that there is something even better for us. Yeah, you're blocking, you're blocking about, you're blocking it. Okay, this is your advice. You're blocking it because you're attached to having it come in a certain way. You're attached to having victory, but only in a certain way. Um, and <laughs> Sag, I mean, I know I hate to I hate to be the one that is delivering a message that you might not get exactly what you want, but what you what is coming in is ten times better. 10 times better than what you have even imagined. So it's kind of an interesting message because it's it, all the divine is asking you to do is just to keep an open mind. There's a sense of having an open mind, positivity about what your future holds, right? And understanding that the divine is working for you. There is a plan. You may feel like, no, they don't have a plan right now. <laughs> My spirit guides and angels, you know, I feel deserted. Don't feel deserted. They are there. They're busy working behind the scenes, trying to coordinate everything for this to come in for you. And it is a great achievement. I mean, it, it, it truly is. You are going to be very, very happy with this. You know, Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups, something that is near and dear to your heart. It is coming in. All right, so let's go to your soul, soul truth card. And Sagittarius, I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Okay, so let's see what we have. What risk can I take today? Hmm. Be not mistaken. You will have to take bigger risks than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams. You will have to take the big scary leap, but do not fret. 
because your soul has wings. Okay, so when I was reading that, Sage, um, there is this energy that you may be a little bit too stuck in your anxiety, okay? Um, you have the time for the nap, for a nap. So I don't feel like you have to, there's, there's a sense that I feel like the big leap is coming forward, okay? It's not maybe right here yet because you have the page of pentacles here. I think sometime over the next four to five weeks, there is some type of a new offer coming in. This is what you're going to have to take a leap for. This may actually be, and let's actually clarify, but I feel like this could be a big scary leap that you have to decide about. You're, you're kind of like, I don't know. And we have the King of Wands here. The King of Wands is about being inspired to take action. It's almost as if, yeah, you're stepping into your truth. Oh my goodness, yeah. Here, here's the death card. Remember, we have the death card here. I was like, something has to end in order for this to begin, right? This new cycle to begin. Look at this. And then you have the four of swords healing and bringing in, you know, long-term financial stability, wealth, health, okay? Also represents health for some of you, perhaps. But, you know, there is this energy of finding the truth about why it is. I feel like the lesson here that you're being asked to perhaps meditate or journal about or just spend some time thinking about is why is it so sad if you don't get it exactly the way that you want it? So interesting because I feel like there's a little bit of a motive there that the universe is saying, is that the way that you really believe? Is that what you truly believe? Um, because there's something here that has to come to an end. And I believe it's something about a belief system, a limiting belief that you have, perhaps about how the universe works or about your worthiness or it could be even for some of you, and this won't be for all of you, but for some of you, you want this because it helps you to feel better about yourself, okay? That's not something to manifest, um, right? <laughs> because it's not really heart-driven. In other words, I mean, if you're trying to manifest something because, um, you know, somebody in the past has made you feel, you know, rejected, abandoned, not worthy enough, and you're trying to manifest something so that you can feel worthy, then that's what the universe is saying. You know, this isn't a reason to manifest something. The reason to manifest something is to believe that you are worthy of having this, not to prove your worth, but because you are worthy to have what it is that you truly want in your life. Interesting twist on that, isn't there, Sag? Yeah, so um, I really kind of like that message because um, sometimes, you know, we want uh, financial security, we want commitment, perhaps romantic commitment or commitment in business or something like that because we want to prove our worthiness, not because we are worthy. I'm going to actually sit and think about that for a while because I do feel like that's a really strong message, um, you know, for all of us. <laughs> so um, really interesting. All right. Well, I am going to leave it there, Saj. I really do appreciate all of your support through liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Much love and light to you.